This video outlines the test procedure for determining the dynamic shear modulus and phase angle of an asphalt binder using the dynamic shearometer, or DSR, according to Ashto TP5. A Bolin DSR was used in this video. The steps with your DSR may be different. DSR Temperature Calibration Turn on the DSR and run the DSR program. Set the rheometer to the desired test temperature. Screw the test plate on the fixture and tighten it firmly. Attach the corresponding spindle to the upper shaft. The temperature is calibrated using a thermistor and multimeter. Coat the thermistor wafer with petroleum jelly to ensure good thermal contact. Position the thermistor wafer between the plate and spindle as shown. The thermistor should be held snugly between the plate and spindle. Connect the ends of the wafer to the multimeter. Lower the plastic cover if necessary and make sure the thermistor wafer is covered by water. After the bath temperature stabilizes, turn on the multimeter and allow the voltage reading to stabilize. Then, note the voltage reading in kilo ohms. The voltage reading is input into this equation to yield the measured temperature reading. The difference between the desired temperature and the measured temperature is called the temperature offset. For some DSRs, the temperature correction is made on the water bath controller itself. Always follow your manufacturer's instructions. For older versions of the Bolin DSR, open the DSR.ini file and scroll down to the line showing sensor offset 1. Add the temperature offset value to the existing value in the DSR.ini file and save the file. Reload the DSR software and verify the temperature calibration process. Repeat the process if required. DSR Apparatus Preparation Turn on the DSR and run the DSR program. Set the temperature to the desired test temperature. Set the test control to strain controlled mode if required. For a DSR with an air bearing, turn on the air regulator and set the air pressure to about 43 psi. Screw the test plate on the fixture and tighten it firmly. Attach the corresponding spindle to the upper shaft. After the water bath reaches the test temperature, set the zero gap as shown for older Bolin DSR models. Newer DSRs have auto gap setting. Rotate the micrometer dial until it points to the zero reading. Spin the spindle and lower the upper shaft all the way down toward the base plate. If the spindle continues to spin, raise the shaft and rotate the micrometer to the left to decrease the gap. If the spindle stops suddenly, raise the shaft and rotate the micrometer to the right to increase the gap. Repeat these steps until the spindle just touches the base plate when the shaft is lowered. This is the zero gap setting. Lock the spindle. Loosen the set screw on the micrometer dial and rotate the dial until the zero coincides with the zero marker. Tighten the set screw at this point. Rotate the micrometer dial and set the gap to 1.05 millimeters if testing original or RTFO aged binders. If testing PAV aged materials, set the gap to 2.05 millimeters. Sample preparation. Heat the binder sample in an oven until the binder is sufficiently fluid to pour. Stir the heated sample to remove any entrapped air and to ensure homogeneity. After the binder is free of air bubbles, pour the binder into the silicone molds and allow the samples to cool to room temperature. Sample testing. Detach the binder sample from the silicone mold by flexing the mold. Press the sample gently against the spindle. Do not touch the sample. Oil from your fingers could introduce errors. Lower the spindle until the binder sample is sandwiched between the base plate and the spindle. Using a heated spatula, trim off the excess sample. Take care not to gouge the sides or pull material from between the plates. Then dial out the extra 50 microns. Replace the plastic cover if necessary and ensure that the sample is completely surrounded by water. Some DSR models do not have plastic covers. Unlock the spindle. The sample is now ready to be tested. In the DSR software, click on the Start button to begin the test. 
When the water bath reaches the set temperature, plus or minus 0 0.2 degrees C, the DSR starts to count down the equilibrium time. At the end of the equilibrium period, the spindle rotates at a frequency of 10 Hz. Data is automatically collected, and the complex shear modulus and phase angle are calculated by the software. If desired, temperature sweep testing can also be done to determine the critical temperature. In this procedure, the test temperature is changed by 3 or 6 degrees and the test is repeated. This procedure is automated in the DSR's software.